Hello friends, this is Rahul here as the Chief Executive Officer of Tragedy Consulting LLP and this time we would be taking our video further where we are going to take the ECB hedging via OIS. I know I am talking about external commercial borrowing hedging via OIS and I know that many of the people those who are watching our video they won't agree to it because in, 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 in a country like India we hardly have companies like Reliance, TCS, LNT. Tata Motors, Tata Steel, those who hedge their exposure completely. Majority of the companies do not hedge their exposure completely. Rather, without quoting the name of any oil companies, we have so many oil companies in, in, in India known as oilers where even principal only swap has not been hedged completely and government is having a stake in that. That is a beautiful part of it. Without quoting the no, name, I hope you are making a sense to whom I am referring to. So this video would be an exotic for them. Because here we are going to discuss how ECB, post taking the ECB, how can we go one level higher and we would be, we would be doing, a, doing an OIS on that. But that is very much essential and this video is a wonderful video for the Treasury Department of Reliance Industries Limited because they, I must say that if I would be an examiner for Reliance, I would give them 10, 100 out of 10. 10 out of 10 which they deserve, 90 I will give them for their performance because they have proved to this world and especially to this country that this is the way how treasury department should be running. They are the only one, those who understand this video, they are the only one, those who know that how this can be hedged via OIS as well. Except Reliance, we have no company including l &T also. Tata Steel and Tata Motors, those who hedged that liability that way also. So we go with the earlier example. In this example, we are going to be little, we are not going to be very much elaborate, elaborative in nature. We are going to be very, very descriptive. And we are going to tell you that uh, just a small part of the ECB and then we will move forward. As we very well understand that ECB is divided into two parts. One part of the ECB is POS, which is principal only swap. And another part of the ECB is COS, which is coupon only swap. In the principal only swap, you are going to decide a rate. In the earlier video, we have assumed the rate of 66, so the total funding is 10 billion dollars and the via, EC, via 66, this is 66,000 crores and we, need, we will calculate the POS rate which is nothing but uh, your uh, one year forward premium, one year forward divided by the POS rate, so which is equals to 4.7% percent perc precisely. So, what is the cost of POS they would be having in the books of Reliance? Let me write here, POS cost is equals to 66,000 crores into 4.7%. We are not calculating very much precisely, but this comes out to be close to 310 crores for 10 years. And what is the benefit? Wherever Indian rupee would be going, Reliance is protected. What is coupon only swap? They are going to protect from a floating liability which is LIBOR and it is LIBOR plus 125 basis point so the net rate would be in the books of Reliance would be USD swaps plus QSD which turns out to be uh, USD swaps for 10 years is 2.4 percent and QSD is 1.25 percent precisely speaking 3.65 percent so the COS cost for Reliance would be 3.65% into 10 billion, whatever amount you will get, which is if I am not wrong it is roughly 36.5 million dollar which they need to pay. So the total cost, total hedging cost per year would be is equals to 310 crore plus 36.5 million. Majority of the people ends up here and in fact we have the cases which I mentioned like except Reliance, we have LNT, TCS, uh, Jinder, Tata Motors, Tata Steel, they will end up here. But Reliance, people like Reliance will go one level higher from here. Reliance will say that I have a cost, Reliance will say a very simple thing. I have a cost which is 4.7% which I am paying. Reliance Treasury Head will say that don't treat this as a POS funding, 66,000 crore. You treat this as an Indian rupee loan which you have taken from a bank and assume that 
you are a reliance industries limited which is the largest petrochemical company in india and the loan rate which is offered to you is 4.7 percent simple you treat this that way so reliance will speak that you have an indian rupee liability which is 66,000 crores and which is funded 4.7 percent so they are not going to treat it like a POS funding. Of course, after 10 years, they need to pay up 66,000 crores to Barclays, Barclays India and their loan would be wind up. And of course, after 10 years, after paying this USD swap plus 1.25, which is roughly 3.65, their loan would be winded up. But Reliance will go one level higher. What Reliance would be doing, they are going to take up 66,000 crore into 4.7%. They want to reduce this 4.75%. So they wanted to reduce the cost of hedging and how they would be doing they would be doing via overnight index swaps ois now what is this ois overnight index swap is hedging of local currency loan in local country in local currency books in my entire definition, I have not generalized it, not generalized this to any currency. I am saying it is a hedging of a local currency loan. What is local currency? 66,000 crore Indian rupee. Local, local currency books, Reliance Industries Limited India books, where the functional currency is Indian rupee. In local country, who is hedging? Reliance Industries Limited India is hedging. So this is the perfect example of taking OIS on external commercial borrowing. But the point of perception is there are many people before moving further will tend to assume that this cannot be possible. No, this is very much possible. First of all, we don't have a very clear guidelines in India as far as the OIS is concerned. Secondly, as far as the RBI's guidelines is concerned, now OIS can be taken number of times and it can be winded up number of times. So Reliance can take up the OIS and they can wind it up they can take it again and they can bind it up again. This is quite possible as far as the Indian OIS regu regulation guidelines is concerned. As simple as that. If you have any doubt, you refer, go to Reserve Bank of India website and refer the, refer the master circular for uh, interbank and risk management circular. Here you will go overnight index swaps. In this, Reliance will hold a view. Assuming the view is interest rate would fall. This is a view of the Reliance Treasury head. Overall, the view of the Reliance Treasury. Overnight index swap is of two is comprising of two legs. Leg number one. It takes MIBOR, Mumbai Interbank Offered Rate, and secondly, it takes OIS rate. MIBOR is nothing but a fixing, which publishes every day in India is roughly 9:47 a.m. Or roughly you can take it frankly 9.45 a.m. to 10 a.m. Anytime between uh, my board is coming. It is done by roughly 15 to 16 banks. And there is a methodology which we have. We are not here discussing how my board is computed. But this is computing every day. OIS is a fixed rate. It has both bid and ask. In case of a bid, you should have corporate asset and bank liability. In case of an ask, you should have corporate liability and bank asset. I repeat, in case of a bid, you should have corporate asset and bank liability. In case of a ask, you would have corporate liability and bank asset. You will be go on the other side because Reliance is hedging a liability which is 66,000 crores, which is our side. What Reliance would be doing in this? Reliance assuming that interest rate to fall. So when the and interest rate to fall and in my board, you will calculate on a daily basis except when you have the holidays example today is a holiday in the indian rupee market because of the e, uh, because of eid so when you have holiday in that sense what it is going to get happen you are going to uh, for a period you will calculate the geometric mean so it would be like that it would be geometric mean of my board and the second leg would be ois rate since Reliance is expecting that interest rate to fall, so they would be paying my ball and they would be receiving OIS. I know all those people, those who are watching this video must be thinking that why they would do that. They were doing that because at the end you will end up in a game. That is for sure. On a blank paper I can sign, on a stamp paper I can sign it 
at the end of the day they will end up with some synergy which means that minus MIBOR which you are paying plus OIS rate which you would be receiving for 10 years you will be greater than zero and that would be adjusted assuming this is X percent that X percent would be adjusted from this 4.7 percent of POS so you would have the POS rate of 4.7 percent minus net of net OIS which is X percent so the net cost of reliance would be 4.7 percent minus X percent if you are thinking that but what if the reliance would lose there is no problem if reliance would lose then they can they can change their view and they can cancel this OIS and they can go on the other way and once they would be going the other way they would be receiving the MIBOR and they would be paying the OIS all those people those are watching this video should take five minutes and sit in a closed room and think first of all the ECB should be fully hedged is that is the case with you question number one secondly is the risk management policy is having OIS in place third if the risk management policy is, is having OIS in place are we seriously hedging it via this and this OIS is not only on this swap it can be hedged on any Indian rupee liability and an Indian rupee asset my last line to this video assuming you would have a term deposit which you have maintained with, with SDFC bank at 8% assuming market moves up RBI hike the repo rate how can you increase this 8% of a asset without cancelling it to 8.4% where the market is exactly this can be done using OIS I repeat OIS is the hedging of local currency asset or liability in local currency books and in local country. Thank you very much. In case you have any requirement pertaining to any kind of training and any kind of consulting pertaining to ECB, our website is www.treasuryconsulting.in and my mobile is 9899242978 while my Skype ID is Rahul5327. You can also email me as rahul.magan at the rate treasuryconsulting.in. We would like to thank you very much and soon we are coming a big way. Thank you.